you guys I am so freaking hungry today that I have been searching around on the internet first I was searching around for um, pretty much black owned seafood boil places but then I ended up just coming to this hook and reel in my area because some of the places was closed and other places was like a good distance away and me and Demetri were both like exhausted to be honest and so I didn't want him to have to do that drive oh okay and so yeah but I'm gonna show you guys what I got um when I get home all right, you guys, so this is what I got from Hook and Rail. And I'm kind of disappointed because I really don't even see the sauce. And I'm just disappointed. And this here, I bought some calamari but for Dimitri, but I'm eating some. I have some Haitian soup here, which I believe is traditional for the new year so i know you guys i have not received my stimulus check okay and just to let you all know okay some of you all are worried My head is way too big for this hat, but I'm still gonna wear it. So, hold on. And I have me a pina colada as well. So, yeah, I'm ready. I'm not sure if that's garlic, but it is really fiery. That's hot. I asked for the fire and they definitely giving me the heat. So, this hat is so weird. It's just so weird. I don't know. I asked for the garlic butter, but it don't taste like they gave me garlic butter. I don't know. I kind of feel like I want to make some some more butter. Next time we know better not to act for fire. Cause literally this is off is so hot, my nose is gonna start running.
Okay, I'm blowing it like it's... Break that down some more. Let's break that down some more. It's good though. The potatoes are well cooked. <clears throat> and I appreciate that. I didn't think I was going to have an appetite because my stomach was not feeling too well. But maybe it wasn't feeling too well because I was hungry. Because yesterday, I really didn't eat much. So, it's a size of shrimp. Take one of these bags out. So basically, <clears throat> all right, so you guys don't just be sitting here watching me eat only. I'm going to tell you guys a little story. And it's really not a story. It's really because I don't like what people say a story. It kind of sounds like, you know, telling a lie and, you know, some of us when we were younger, um, depending on what families we grew up in, we could not say lies, so we had to say story. Excuse me. And so this is an experience that pretty much I've gone through. And I will say, if you are the type of person that do not like to hear about What word can I use? If you don't like to hear about the unknown, let's just say that. Then this is probably not going to be <clears throat> the experience that you want to hear. Okay. Okay, so pretty much for a good part of my life, I have had various experiences, but I'm going to start, I'm going to tell you about one that recently happened. So, of course, I'm not going to start at the beginning because pretty much I just got to ease in some of these stories like we got to ease into some of these stories because um I don't want none of you guys to start freaking out or you know being weirded out by some of these stories so I'm gonna start with this one because this one is probably like the least traumatic like to me personally and maybe it's only because I've already experienced so many different um had so many different occurrences that maybe pretty much I'm not as affected but truthfully that can differentiate 
from experience to experience because there are some experiences that I had that it just like I don't know it was just too much but anyway okay so pretty much one day I was sitting on my bed my door it was closed because every morning when Dimitri goes out to work he closes the door behind him and of course this day was no exception he closed the door he left about an hour later I got up and I grabbed my phone and you know I was scrolling through my phone and as I'm scrolling through my phone maybe about a half an hour after I woke up I hear the door So, of course, naturally, because I'm the only one that's in the household, that I'm going to immediately look up to see, you know, okay, why is my door opening? So, the door opens. I look up. The door closes and at the point where the door is closing I put my head back down into my phone The door opening to me was, I didn't really think too much of it because we have neighbors above us and you know, if you walk around, you can pretty much cause, you know, you can cause movement in other parts of the household let's just say and so even though i didn't hear anyone upstairs at the time or hear anyone moving around upstairs at the time i figured okay well you know the door is open it could be various things it could be the wind it could be different things when the door closed that is when i started to feel like something else was going on so when the door closed like i said i looked down and the door started to open again and still i kept my head down i did not look up the door closed but it did not close as far as the first time so it just went like halfway between the close and the open and like i said i didn't look up and so i just continued to just scroll through my phone and i pretty much just did not pay any attention now i know what you guys are thinking i know y'all like she looks black but why in the hell did it she get up from their bed and get the hell out of the house i know some people are, are thinking that and then some people are probably thinking like yeah most likely probably was the wind 
or maybe it probably was from the walking upstairs um but like i said i've had various experiences in my past and it's not something i'm going to talk about right now but that's just one of the experiences that i've had and i guess you would have to have been there to really see and understand why i know it had nothing to do with the wind nor anyone walking upstairs um there are other doors in the household and none of those doors moved and if you know about far as when coming through the household the kitchen door going into the dining room that would be the door that would be moving um not my bedroom door so because yeah there was no windows in my room at the time no the window was open in my room but the blinds were not moving or doing anything and so when was coming through then there should have been a little movement from my blinds and there wasn't so yes so that's one of my experiences that i've had and um probably one day soon you know i'll tell you about another one of my experiences and i'll probably most likely start from the beginning and then you guys will have a better understanding of why i do not take those type of things lightly so yeah this corn no it needs some salt let me go get some salt Alright, I'm going to put some garlic salt and some sea salt on it because this thing, it needs some, it needs love and attention and like, literally, they didn't give it any of that. And so, here I am, giving it the love and attention it needs. Not too much, I don't want to ruin it, but I definitely want to ensure that my next bite is satisfying. So, yeah. Put a little more. A little more. Mm. Not too much. So you guys, what are some of y'all's plans for, <clears throat> let's just say the summertime, what are some of y'all's plans, like any, like traveling or hopefully by the summertime that we can go ahead and travel and can start traveling again? So what are some of y'all's summertime plans for traveling? Now, one of my plans are, which I've already, um, this plan had been in place since the beginning, not really the beginning of 2020, but I'm going to say around about June of 2020 or July of 2020, or maybe May of 2020, we started making these plans and I've been basically paying on, uh, a cruise is a seven day cruise, which I didn't know was going to be a seven day cruise because I'm not, this is going to be the first time I've ever taken a cruise and I don't know. I'm a little nervous. Let's just say that I'm, I'm nervous. So yeah, so I'm, yeah, I'm a little nervous. You guys don't laugh at me, but it got so hot, I had to peel my wig back. It looked like I got a, what you call band wig on now. <sighs> Monica's getting back fat, you guys. I'm gonna have to slow down on the eating. Cause, yeah, I'm getting the fat neck, fat face again. But this right here, 
and so freaking good. And it helps to cool down my mouth. So, yeah. 